When the patient attends the nuclear medicine department for a renogram, they are greeted by the nuclear medicine practitioner, who may be a radiographer, a nuclear medicine technologist, or a nurse. The practitioner takes the patient into the nuclear medicine clinical area. This is a radiation supervised area because radioactive sources are used and so entry is limited to staff, patients and essential accompanying people. The practitioner checks the patient's identification to make sure that she has the correct person. She asks the patient about his symptoms. Then she explains what will happen during the test and answers any questions that the patient may have about it. This is the gamma camera that will be used to take the pictures of the patient's kidneys. The patient lies on the imaging couch and makes himself comfortable. The couch is then moved close to the gamma camera detectors. Alternatively, the patient may be asked to sit up in a chair with one of the detectors behind him. The lower detector is moved close to the patient's back in order to get a good picture of his kidneys. In this case, the upper detector is not being used so it can be left far away from the patient. The practitioner has inserted a needle into a vein in the patient's arm, ready to give him an injection. The injection is kept inside a lead-lined box and the syringe is in a lead shield in order to protect the practitioner's fingers from the radiation. The injection consists of a chemical that is excreted through the kidneys with a radioactive marker attached. This is called a radiopharmaceutical. As soon as the radiopharmaceutical is injected, the gamma camera starts acquiring a sequence of pictures which will show how well each kidney is working and how quickly the radiopharmaceutical is moving through the kidneys and into the bladder. Sometimes it is necessary to give an additional injection of a diuretic partway through the renogram. It can be injected through the same needle that is already in the patient's vein. After the diuretic injection, the renogram acquisition continues for a further few minutes. The diuretic makes the kidneys work harder, and the effect that this has on the renogram gives additional diagnostic information. The renogram may continue for up to 40 minutes, and then the couch can be slid out from the camera. The patient's bladder will now be full of radioactive urine, so he is asked to go to the toilet to empty his bladder. After emptying his bladder, the patient is repositioned in front of the gamma camera for a final picture of his kidneys. After that, the test is finished. The practitioner checks that the patient has not experienced any adverse effects from the diuretic and that he has no more questions or concerns. Then he is free to leave the department.